All right, welcome to part two. Video two for Nebuchadnezzar's campaign. Pre-Pottery Neolithic 8700 to 6500 BC. Or to um, those young Earth creationists who believe the Earth is 6,000 years old. Reality. Let's play this. Again, difficulty, normal. No point overcomplicating it for a YouTube video. So far it's only the one campaign, but I'm hoping in the future they will release more campaigns to go along with it. Because if anyone remembers playing Pharaoh on Queen of the Nile, they had several different dynastic period campaigns and different missions. Now I've not done the custom missions in this yet, but I'm sure that they're going to be awesome. Alright. After a long search, you finally find a place suitable for your new settlement. In addition to fertile soil, there are many grazing animals in the vicinity. In fact, seeing them, you begin to wonder whether hunting them is really the best one could do. Alright, um, let's try something different. Greetings and welcome back, blah blah blah, yep, yep, we got new houses, alright. First, we need to find out the current needs of our houses, open the house window and then we'll continue. Okay, this guy's annoying, being little. Distribution of goods and services. All right, from your bazaar, this guy is gonna go around sending stuff. And you have to map out the route that you want the distributors to actually go around. This is where I was saying it was different from Sierra, um, Sierra games, um, Pharaoh and Queen of Nile and Caesar. So these paths are all manually put in. If you don't put a path in, you don't distribute anything. So each individual building, you actually have that level of micromanaging of the city, which to some people is amazing, and other to people are like, oh, it's a lot of work. <laughs> but I think it's a really good thing, even if it is a lot of work. <laughs> okay, yep, each side has a limited range. Info layer, yep. Relative number of goods in the buildings, blah blah blah. So wait, yeah, we know, we know, we know. Red marks, yeah. Blue marks, distribution, yellow, consumes. Stats for goods and services. Bum bum bum. Right. Okay. So. Shack. Right now, we just inherited the left part window, but we're interested. Da -da 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 -da. So they need bread and they need milk. And obviously, next there's pollution. Um, yeah, like previous city building games like this, the more goods that become available, the higher level the houses will become. Okay, we are building a a poor market because we poor people. Okay, you're gonna do it on its own. Okay. Hire one bread seller and one milk seller. Okay. I know exactly what it means because I've played this. So. And you. Miss Milk Seller, you can go around here. And she's got all those buildings. Okay. Alright, build one farm and one wheat field, two bakeries and one lifestyle. Okay, so.
And I'm gonna hire another one of these guys. Nope. Not you. Most importantly, do not forget. You see that blue outline? That's the warehouse radius of where they can distribute and drop off goods to. So that is very important. And then, yeah, livestock farm. Right. This guy. Yes. Not gonna choose a better position for him, but you know. More farmers, no, and more gatherers. More farmers, nope, oh, then again, more gatherers. And, again, bakeries within the range of these guys. Okay, so then we will need to build some more houses because I've hired a lot of additional workers. Let's just speed this up for one second. I'm getting near to the population I need anyway. Just put a little dirt road out here. sure all these houses are well serviced. Continue as soon as you transport one bread and one milk to market. Okay. Oh, missing resources, right. People leaving the city, oh no. You could not find people with living conditions you expect. All right, show me where. Ah, you're only a shack anyway. People are coming back, yeah. I need some change real quick around here, you know. Livestock, okay. And I have misplaced that for the purpose of this mission. So if I put a crop farm here and then as much as I can, see they're all great so they're not going to be able to do anything anyway. <laughs> Placement in this game is ridiculously important so you know what yeah screw those guys if the warehouse can get the stuff from here you can get another one you can get another one right and I shall replace those ones I've taken Nope. 
and you can just distribute some more milk because we have an excess of milk right now Hopefully not for too long. Let's speed this up. Very easy to make mistakes in placement of buildings that messes up the actual flow of the game. You learn that pretty early on in these campaign games as well. Okay. It's got some bread. Wheat resources, anyway. Excellent. Excellent, but how will we know our production code and demand? Okay. Okay. Oof. The milk and the bread does alright, but yes. Okay, yep. Bye bye, poor house. Go through the route, activate the tool from the checkpoint. Set this one. You cannot change their operating range, which is unfortunate. Okay, he's set to cover both sets of houses, so why is he not doing it? Let's just destroy all those goods as well because um, they're just filling it up. See, it's, it's very easy to get loads of resources very early on in this and fill up a warehouse. Just slow this down then. I've met the population and the poorhouse. Is this a glitch in the game? To configure the route, activate the tool for new. Alright.
Aha. Uh -huh. So it picks up every single house. Okay. You can just like milk it up, ladies, because there's lots of milk. So that's a very important thing for when you're doing these learning missions, people. It's very specific conditions. And yep, somehow went broke on the second mission, but I got through it. Uh, don't leave me. And that's all for this mission, you did great, so yeah. Resource management is completely different to Pharaoh and Queen of the Nile and any of the Caesar games. You are mapping out the routes for each individual distrib distributor. So it's an interesting element, micromanagement levels that you're not probably used to in RTS like this, but it's good. Thanks for watching.